God is dead. Mental health special edition. It's okay to hashtag feel your way. You'll notice we're adopting a bit more of a somber tone for a somber subject here. Well, it's a super brave territory. No one's ever said it's okay to not be okay. <laughs> Damn, I'm, I'm so glad in 2020. <laughs> no brand has ever said that. Of course, people say that, you know, years ago. We said that 10 years ago, maybe. Oh, but brands funny. have never said that it's okay to not be okay I'm until sure now. I'm sure the Greek Stoics said it. Like, you know, right. <laughs> it's like humans have said this throughout history. Yeah, well, let's just dive into an a minute and a half ad that Burger King have dropped. And of course, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll get the full experience. We'll try to, we'll try to paint a picture for the pod listeners but it's always better on the visual so suss it god is dead youtube or god is dead not clickbait on the insta yeah yeah whatever your method is it's okay to feel your way so whatever one you want to do it's fine and keep in mind this is a poem so Fuck. <laughs> sorry let me get out of the way all right this is a poem it's certainly not a psa it's a cutesy kind of if glee was a little bit more real <laughs> i guess um kind of thing it's beautifully shot yeah it's very very well made we start with a guy sitting head down on the edge of the bed which is kind of not really made properly he's <laughs> the got international food. sign for depression, for depression. <laughs> having food on your bedside table <laughs> damn bro put it in the sink oh no he's depressed yeah well let's just see what he has to say damn i hope that gets taken out of context all right hit me burger king not everybody wakes up happy sometimes you feel sad scared crappy bro who who fucking wakes up happy these days? <laughs> Not everybody. Bryce. Come on, you heard, man. The, you heard the man. Who's getting eight hours? If you're fucking doing real shit, you're, <laughs> you're not, not getting eight yeah, hours. Sometimes you wake up sad, scared. I wake up going, what Even the crappy. hell? Is anyway, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. So sad, scared, or crappy? <laughs> Let Damn. me introduce you to my fairy godmother, who's yeah. here to, uh, in a fun song. She's gonna clean the room. I never know what's going on. All right, here we are. <laughs> All I ask is that you let me feel my way. Okay. Right. This girl, someone's wrote skank on her locker. Kind of devil. Can't wait to leave this closed minded town. Mm -hmm. Now, a woman storm a storming out of her office with a box full of paper like it's the 1970s. Yeah, it's how everyone gets fired is their box with their stuff. And throwing all these papers, I mean, mate, you should have just thrown your laptop in the air. Like, come on. <laughs> like, what the hell? It's probably why you got fired. <laughs> yeah, all these blank pieces of paper. I love them. Yeah. Look, Katie, stop doing everything handwritten, okay? Yeah, like, it's just a whole extra process. It's taking hours We love more. you, Katie. We do love you. You know it's okay to feel my way, all right? <laughs> I feel retro. <laughs> and Chester Burger King for, uh, anyway. <laughs> Facilitating that. Mm. Yeah. All right. The chorus kicks in. I'm guessing that they wrote this song specifically for the ad. Ah, uh, yep. Sad schoolgirl. All right, so look. Yeah, at, at this We're point... We're not disagreeing with the message here. No, no. At, at, and at this point, man, like, this is this could be, like, just kind of, like, a nice little piece for... Because it's got viral literal, bait. Yeah, yeah, like, this could be something that... You never know. Someone, it could just be, like, nice mental health awareness. Yeah, someone's point, introduction... I, I don't disagree. I'm roasting it because I know, I'm, I, I know it's be, coming. You know, you could, this is something very palatable for maybe a parent who doesn't understand why their son is being a bit reserved and, and they go, oh, wait, no, it's... Yeah, okay, cool. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to yeah, let yeah. him kind of feel that out. For example... Here we go. I can't believe my student loan. I'm never moving out of my parents' home. This guy sitting next to his dad. Really just close. Like ghosted. Oh. Should have known. Burger King just learned what ghosted means. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> That's for sure. They collabed with the homies at Bumble to find out what ghosted means. <laughs> just got ghosted. Should have known. That's why he's wearing a yellow jacket. Pretty sure I was. It's a subtle collab. They say I'm too young to raise my baby girl. Take your opinions and suck it, world. Ooh, mm -hmm. crazy language. Oh, my God. Something I clocked that I forgot to point out is um, the girl in the high school. Mm -hmm. Sorry to rewind. We're, we're taking it a bit slow here, but um, just suss this. Yeah. This guy's wearing a Burger King shirt in the background. Oh, oh, damn. That's Weird, so huh? trash. It's, it's, yeah. That's so Unnecessary. Trashy. Like, I thought that oh, this was... That was a series of decisions. You don't just rock up wearing a Burger King no, shirt. No, who's wearing... Unless it's a bodyboarding shirt that says Burger King, which used to be a bodyboarding store run by Ben Player's brother, I believe. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> which it probably is. That's, that's definitely the that's definitely it's just explanation. just an American bodyboarding fan. Take your opinions and suck it, world. Suck it, world. Suck it. Uh, we see the paper again, the chorus. 
And now all, all our now. sad people are, are singing together. And he's even eating just a bit of Burger King. Yeah, the girls walking out of the high school, kicking the lockers, being like, can't wait to get out of here. And we think, this is actually, look, it's actually not bad. No, 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 no. As far as, like, branded pieces of content goes on the internet. Yeah, so far so good, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Bryce, there is still about 15 seconds left in the oh, ad. No, Ooh, no, no one, one is happy, happy all the time, time and, that's and that's okay. okay. Sweet, time to wrap it up, Burger King. All, all right, right, cool, cool, cool. Now give me, uh, you know, we just donated $1 million <laughs> to charity. Come on, maybe <laughs> more. 0.1% of our profits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 0. 0.001. <laughs> and that would be the least that they could do. Yeah, you all think right, so, so, but only no, 11 seconds left. We're looking all right. All right. So, so no one's happy all the time. Sweet and that's okay. All right, let's let's see. How much money did you give to mental health Who are you partnering with? What's up? Oh, oh, the blue meal, meal, the yas meal, meal, the piss meal, meal the salty meal, meal the, the don't give a fuck meal. Don't give a oh fuck. my god, we're introducing real meals. And they're supporting the work of mentalhealthamerica.net. Hashtag feel your way. way. So, <laughs> damn, are you telling me that they, they did this all just to sell some burgers, Bryce? Yes, a brand new range. It's the feel your way range. And of course, those meals again, for those that want to really tuck in to a meal that reflects their mood. The Yas meal, which is purple, and it has a mouth opening and screaming, Yas! Ah, uh, yes. The salty meal, <laughs> which I assume is just a normal fucking Burger King <laughs> burger. Uh, but this time it's a mood. So it's a kind of a hmm face. The pissed meal is like, Arr! the don't give a fuck meal, DJAF, is tongue out. And, of course, the blue meal is straight up sad. So different degrees of poor mental health cam. Of course, there is no uh, ideations burger. There is no... Dissociative know, disorder burger. Crippling anxiety paralyzed in my bedroom meal. It's no it's schizophrenia, just, no... Well, I'm salty today. <laughs> Damn it, I'm feeling sassy. <laughs> like, Damn, I've got complex PTSD. Do you have a burger for me? No, <laughs> no. We, we, no, no, no. No, I don't. No. No, and yeah. of course, uh, you know, there is only six that make the cut, but um, those are, the, <laughs> the, you know. And they're the ones with the most marketable names. <laughs> yeah. What a coincidence. I'm yeah. curious. Um, but there we go. Yeah. One for the, for the uh, you know... One for a weird person at McDonald's to watch, I think. Like, if, oh, if you were... Oh, low-key shade. Oh, obviously. Like, but like, I mean, it's, it's just odd that they would gaslight the Happy Meal so, like, openly, yeah. I think. It's like, yeah, yeah, because that's what the Happy Meal stood for, not talking about your feelings. McDonald's have never said anything about depression, <laughs> yeah. and they're, in fact, pushing it in our face that you have to be happy all the Are time. Are you glorifying happiness? <laughs> <laughs> Like, what is that? What is that? Yeah, well, I think we need like, to Thank ask- God for the woke crusader that is <laughs> the Burger King mega corporation. Yeah, big brave soldiers in the building. And I think we've got to find out what does this all mean? Let's hit the judgment. Final judgment. If you never listen to this part of the pod, this is where we ask, is God dead or alive based on the evidence we've just seen? And just off pod here, this is no meme. This is actually real. Yes, mental health, it's bullshit when people say mental health is important and don't back it up with something. It actually is The problem is, yes, it is actually an important thing to consider. So, The meme overcomes the message. Yeah, if anything we're talking about raises any concerns for you, any weird feelings in Australia, Lifeline is 13 11 14. There's so many other places that you can reach out to. We'll chuck a couple in the description, but of course, it's probably going to be mainly Aussie ones because that's our our main listenership. But please reach out if anything is getting raised here. We don't want to make you feel weird about it. If anything, we want to make you feel heard for how... Awfully, this conversation yeah. is being, being handled by yeah. Burger King itself. So let's unpack it. Burger King's feel your way thing. We've finally got permission to be salty. Finally. <laughs> finally. I always felt so guilty for being hey, salty mom, on the mom, bus. Hey, mum, don't worry. I can feel yas again. <laughs> <laughs> Burger King let me. <laughs> yeah. I know. I was like, good be... for you, son. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is God dead? That's the question. Uh, well, yeah, man. I mean, it's it's like you, you don't get more of a, of, a, of a shining example of a corporate wasteland than this, do you? Like where it's like... Like, like we were saying in the thing, it's like, oh, did you, so, so what did you do about it? What did you actually do? Oh, no, no, you're actually asking for, for my money. Oh, I thought you were given money. I thought you'd use that yeah. power and, and treated it as a responsibility instead. Let's, <laughs> let's be full real and say, all we know is that they've supported the work of mentalhealthamerica.net. So we don't know what that support 
is it could be financial. And that's that's kind of like the only way, way that I could see God God being alive here. So it's like we can all agree that, you know, God is dead for capitalizing on depression and trying to make me eat burgers, which is like the worst. It, it's the opposite it of self-care. It fuels depression. It literally, it? like, yeah. yeah, and there are studies that, that show that it will fuel depression. Sure. I'm not going to quote them. They're important. But, oh, sorry, I just, I did something I hate, which is said there are studies. But mm-hmm. where God might be alive, and this is maybe an unpopular opinion that I have, is that sometimes performance. Um, like being performative can actually lead to action. It can be a gateway drug. Mm. And in this case, the way that that would work would be if Burger King came out and said, wow, mental health is important. That's why we are now asking you for six ninety five for a don't, don't give a fuck meal. Then somebody on Twitter goes, hey, um, actually you're capitalizing on depression. What have you actually done? Have you, you know, bought uh, like, you know, like therapy for your employees or do you give them mental health days, blah, 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 blah. Mm. And then Burger King goes, oh shit, we're about to get cancelled. Mm. Let's, or not cancelled, just like fall out of popular favour with <laughs> certain types of people, right? And so then Burger King now has to, you know, do, do all those changes, donate money, put their money where their mouth is. So yeah. I think that their idiocy can actually lead to ultimately more mm. good. Like, I do think that that's possible. Yeah, well, you know what's a bit slimy about it is the Burger King slogan is have it your way. So it's it's actually a play on the Burger King existing slogan of feel your way. It's not even kind of a new statement that they've pushed to pioneer mental health stuff. It's literally a, like a play on their branding. This reminds me of like when McDonald's Woolworths... Like, I'm loving it would be like, I'm not loving it today. I'm not loving it. You know, it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. how cheesy it would be. Hey, market here, like you called that. But um, what it reminds me of is Woolworths, fresh in our memories, when they had, oh, when they had a... Yeah, back in 2015 fuck, during that's Anzac an Day. all-time a fuck-up. Yeah, yeah. It's like the biggest brand fuck-up that we've had in Australia. But yeah. Yeah, quick recap for the non-Australians we, listening. We did an episode on branded social media files. It's literally called that. It was a... Yeah, we, I won't spoil it, actually. Yeah, go listen to that episode. I reckon suss it because it's not a bad one. We do rip yep. pretty yeah. heavily into them. So, <laughs> yeah, you, see. You'll want to yass meal afterwards. Put yeah. it that way. Because <laughs> we had a DGAF meal beforehand. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> anyway, like, yeah, th- this is pretty, pretty goddamn pathetic. And I think, like, the thing that really annoys me is, like... <laughs> At the at the the, the 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 least that they could do is push the conversation forward about mental health, and there is an element where they are doing that because Bryce, you were saying before when we were like when we were having dinner the other night, you're like, okay, yes, this is dumb, but also yes, we live in a bubble. We For live sure. in a bubble full of woke hipsters, blah blah blah, and like outside of that bubble, there are people who aren't having conversations about mental health, and maybe it does take seeing that guy saying, hey, I wake up crappy, to be like, oh, hey, that's slightly normalized. Yeah. So yeah, I can sort of see that, but. But then don't ask that same guy for six dollars for a freaking juicy, greasy, that's, fat burger. That's the thing. It's is almost implying that the, the look. You, you're allowed to feel depressed, and you know what? The the first step isn't therapy. It's not anything like that. It's heading into Burger King and copying the DJAF meal to reverse your mood, or even embracing it and getting a sad meal. And literally, and uh. it, and like like chemically it might reverse your mood it might have that effect you might get the sugar spike you might get the high yeah it's, it's quite likely that that would happen and then it's quite likely you develop a vice and yeah then, and then, oh golly it's, know, it's yeah it's very dangerous it's dangerous territory look yeah burger king have given us very very palatable brand safe editions of mental health issues because i suppose you know the problem at the end of the day is Brands need to make money. And I'm no expert in marketing. You might know a bit more about this. But brands, I assume, to make money need to kind of be as safe and as sort of middle of the road as possible. Of course, there are brands that do extreme things, but they've got a pretty target market. Whereas I think Burger King, I can assume, want as many customers as possible. They're not looking for just teenage guys or just 35-year-old women. They're looking for as many as possible. So they need to say things that will not put anyone in an uncomfortable position and for a lot of people seeing hardcore reality um images of of really really debilitating mental health issues is probably going to turn them off um wanting to go and get a pissed meal because whoa whoa, i'm I'm not i've i have bad days but i'm not what the hell i'm not like you know sitting in my room in a ball screaming you know what i mean like or i'm not you know forced to work in an abattoir because of and getting PTSD because I have to slaughter animals all day to go make the Burger King burgers, mm-hmm. right? And so you, it's like, I, I don't think that Burger King is doing any good to this world at mm-hmm. all. Like, I'll go on record saying that. And I think it's so condescending, and this is the problem with advertising, it's always condescending, of them to assume that we could be tricked that easy. Case closed.